Hey guys, it's your girl Amy. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Today I'm giving it to the girls once again with another clothing haul. But today I have a huge summer collective haul from Zara Garage and H&M. So let's just get into it. Oh, your girl did some damage. Ah. Oh my gosh. If shopping could be my job, I don't know, I just like clothes, okay? But this is gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> so I got these big three bags full of goodies. I've already styled these all over on my Instagram, so go follow me over there if you wanna see the looks. I'm gonna start with H&M because this is the smallest item that I purchased and it's only one thing but it's so cute. So the first item I got from H&M are these cute heels. Oh my gosh. These are so darling. All right, let me give you a nice little close up. Okay, so I, I have a small foot. This is a size five, I believe. Yeah, this is a size five. Actually, it's a five and a half, which I love that they have in between sizes because it's a hit or miss for me since my foot is so small. But yes, get into the shoe. Isn't it so cute? Oh my gosh. It has this cute little braided band across um, where your foot goes to secure it. And I love this design. It's all about the details for me. I feel like that adds to any outfit you put together other than accessories, okay? You need basics in your closet. You gotta have like one or two staple pieces to bring it together, but the details of things, like the fabric, the texture, the pattern, the design, like it all just brings the outfit to life. Also, the shoe is comfy. It's got, I don't know what kind of heel you would call this because it's not chunky. It's like wide, but it's not a pin heel, like those tiny, thin pin heels, which I absolutely don't, I hate those, like to walk in. Like they might be cute, but functionality wise, like it's a no for me. I'll take a picture and be done with it. But this is very functional because they don't hurt my feet, okay? You can style these on a night out on the town or even with like a casual outfit just to like make it a little bit more dressy but not that you're doing too much. I love that these shoes are nude because I have more options to style them with. Sometimes you need nude pieces to bring things together so you're not like doing a lot. I'm, I'm a colorful girl. I love to wear colors but uh, I feel like nude is always a go-to and something you should definitely have in your closet. Now on to Zara. All right, first item from Zara is this cute little number. Oh my gosh. So this is a corset top. It's super cute. It's got all these colorful designs on it, but it definitely piqued my interest because like I said, I'm a colorful girl and it's sort of giving spring with the colors. But you could definitely also wear this for summer as well. And anything that's very bold and saturated is always a summer seasonal color look. Like, they're always revolving. It has these adjustable straps, so it'll fit you. Also, what I really like about this top, which I think is super cute, is it's in true corset fashion, because you don't just slip it on over your head. You have to undo the hooks one by one. It it doesn't take long to get into it, but you can't really just slip in and slip out. But I like that because it just makes the shirt different. I feel like this top also does the girls justice, you know what I'm saying? If I ever do a haul, just assume that everything I have is in a size extra small until further notice because I don't have any other sizes that I fit. So, by the way, I got a comment on my last haul video about leaving links. I'm gonna try and find the links to the items that I got. Video is not sponsored, by the way, so... If I leave links and I find them and y'all wanna buy, I don't get any of that, which is fine, but run your girl's video up, run the views up, because I would love to be sponsored and seen by the brands that I love to work with and get that check, baby, okay? Because it takes a lot of hard work to go and shop often for content. Just saying. Like this video if you are enjoying so far. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified every time I upload. But yeah, overall, 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend the ways you can style this 
top are very versatile but what i did do is i specifically paired it with the second item that i actually have which is this lavender blazer and it's not just any blazer by the way it is a cropped blazer now, i've never had a cropped blazer okay i've had a full-size blazer which they those are always i feel like a look especially when you're going for like that pinterest business casual sporty casual type of vibe a lot of people have actually been telling me when i show them these kind of outfits like why would i ever wear a blazer unless i'm going to like a business meeting or something and i used to think that until i saw like the girls on pinterest and instagram sporting them then i was like you know what i don't even need to have a meeting like this is just cute for the outfit's sake that's where i'm at with blazers right now so i'm actually low-key collecting them but yes i just love this color get into it this is like these are spring colors but i'm wearing this for summer too spring and summer we're going together okay it's pb and j in this thing and it's not giving like the broad 70s or 80s blazer shoulder pads either because i don't really like those but it does have a tad bit of shoulder padding in it so this is how it looks you could i guess wear it with this outfit to give it like a little pop of color i feel like that's the point of this cropped blazer being purple and not just like a nude you can style this i feel like with a good couple of pieces especially if you have the basics oh i just realized it has a button too i don't know if i would ever wear this like oh that's okay wait hold on hold on we're adding shape now oh i didn't know that it like closed a bit that's so cute next i also picked up from zara this gorgeous dress this dress is super long and it's super duper duper elegant it's very much like going to dinner vibes okay like you need a reason to wear this you never need a reason to dress up but this is like where else would you go in this not to the grocery store so the dress looks like this it's got the little i uh, see that's one thing though about extra small sizing even small sizing like the rest of me is small i'm small all over but like i have a bit more chest in the chest area so the cups are a little small for me so if you're like me then just be careful you don't need a bra with this this is already giving a lot of bust if you know what i mean it has this like bridgerton effect i feel like this type of top because the top part of the dress is giving corset i'll insert pictures right here and it has strings in the back to tie it's floral so this is a summer haul but it's giving very much spring don't don't worry we got some summer pieces it's very flowy you got you got air control in here i definitely think this is something that i would wear to dinner if i'm on a date with somebody's son <laughs> Or I could just take myself out, that's fine. Okay, last shopping bag we have to go through is from the garage. I love calling it that. It's from Garage, the garage. First piece I have is this beautiful, I don't know if it's orange or if it's peach. If you stay this long into the video, comment the emoji orange peach. <laughs> and it's this cute little orange summer dress that ties around your neck. It's backless and it's very much body contour because of how slip fitting it is you're gonna be giving all the shape you got this summer all right and this dress is gonna make you look even greater okay it's very simple very plain very basic to dress it up i would put heels with it or if you're trying to make it like dressy casual since it's already a dress i'll put some sneaks with it you know what i'm saying throw a little jacket over it i purposely got orange because y'all already know the deal with orange and brown skin already know the deal next item oh my gosh this is like one of my favorite pieces in this haul are you ready i don't think you're ready for it all right get ready for it it's this corset top i've been liking the corset top look lately i know it's been trending for a while i think since like 2020 probably but it's still here so hey we still here with it we rock it with mark because mark rock it with us all right i can't get enough of this i love this color this like electric lime green it's screaming summer 2022 okay the back looks like this i love how this one is different than the multi-colored one from zara because that one it stops like a regular cut at the bottom how a crop top would but this cut 
it goes it like dips in like a V shape kind of so I feel like it it just gives you more of an illusion that you're super curvy even if you aren't or even if you are also I love the texture this is satin the cups are a little small but that's not gonna be a problem for me last top that I have is this top from the garage I don't even know what to call this okay it's just like a really cute very thin crop top I know I keep saying this just like all the rest but this color screams summer because it's of the dark hue saturation of pink it's got some orange in there giving marble swirl a bit it's also mesh that's the material it is mesh is trending this summer as well the only downside about mesh is if you wear mesh too long mesh gonna start to wear you okay and if you know what i'm talking about then you know if you know then you know you start to like not smell as great so when i get mesh i make sure that wherever i'm wearing to i'm not gonna be there that long so i can like be in and out of that top or that outfit mesh doesn't mesh well i feel like with natural body odor oh yeah so i just don't wear mesh that long it's the only downside i feel like hey other than that this top is ridiculously cute it has a lot of back opening to it you got all your back exposed basically and i love a good bare back moment oh also i love the lettuce hemming at the bottom it just creates a little extra zhaja. i just made that up last but certainly not least to tie in all of these things together i I had to get my hands on a pair of jeans. Now let me tell you, the garage is not the cheapest place, but they do have quality, quality jeans, I must say. But H&M and the garage definitely have like small girl friendly pieces. And by small girl, I mean like double XS and XS, okay? These are really, really baggy jeans that I got. They're so cute. It has the old denim fabric material, which I don't know what the technical name for it is, but it's like the ones that they had in the 90s where it was like very like just rough, like hard denim. I love that fabric of denim. It's very authentic. This to me, what I really love is because it's extra small, I don't know how they cut it, like what sorcery they did with this, but basically it sinks in at the waist and then it goes out at the hips so because it's baggy and it gives you the illusion that you have more curve anything to give more of the illusion that i look better than i do <laughs> and i always put a belt with my jeans because it adds to the accessorizing portion they also have some holes in them a little bit but not too much all right thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have any video suggestions or video ideas i'm more than open to hearing them oh please leave in the comments down below if you would like any more hauls from me i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye